Hi everybody, Neil Kravitz here. I hope you're enjoying these daily clinical pearls. This clinical pearl is about the value of occasionally waiting to see the second premolars erupt before deciding which premolar to extract. So I'm a huge believer of serial extraction or sequential extraction otherwise referred to as guidance of eruption, and that's where you take out the deciduous canines and the deciduous first molars to allow for the permanent premolars to erupt early and allow the impacted canines to upright. Now, traditionally, you take out the permanent first premolars. That's why serial extraction is usually called CD4, because you're extracting the Cs, the Ds, and the 4s. But occasionally, the second premolars come in with problems. They will be significantly undersized or diminutive. They will have severe um, hypoplasia or maybe severely rotated or short roots. And sometimes you'll extract those larger, better first premolars and have to now deal with these smaller, diminutive second premolars. So it would have been better in those cases to simply extract the second premolars, even though that meant distalizing the first premolars to make room for the canine. So the pearl here is that if the panoramic radiograph gives any indication that the second premolars may be rotated or hypoplastic or undersized, I like to sometimes wait for those teeth to erupt because sometimes I want to extract the second premolars, not the first premolars, in a serial extraction case. Even though it's more work for me orthodontically, at the end, it will be much better dealing with a better first premolar than an undersized or severely rotated second premolar. Let me know what you think about this pearl. Thank you guys so much for subscribing to this page. Thank you for supporting the JCO.